Let's say that you wanted to create a property for a private variable in a class. You also know that there won't be any restrictions on what can be set or get for the variable. And if you know that these are the cases, then a very fast and efficient way to create private fields that can be read or written to, you can use something called auto-implemented properties. Think of what we did in the last video. And think of a way that we could condense all of this logic into one simple line of code. Here is how it is done. First, let's comment all of this out because we're going to be copying or we're going to be creating a new version of this. So here is how to condense all of this logic into one simple line of code. Type public int id braces get semicolon set semicolon. And that is how it is done. There is a lot going on behind the scenes of this one line of code. Everything we did in the last video, as a matter of fact, is done behind the scenes. There's a private field being created. Also, the conditions of the get and set methods are set to default settings, meaning get will just return the value of that private field, and set will just assign that private field the value of whatever you're passing in. And we could create many properties very quickly using this method. So let's, let's make a couple more. Maybe public int age, maybe public string name, and as a naming convention, these properties are to be capitalized. The first letter is to be capitalized. Maybe public bool is awesome. Make a getter and setter for that. Make a property for that. And just like that, we just made four properties for our class, which can be accessed or modified whenever we want to. Now you know how to create auto-implemented properties. And you're going to be using these a lot, so get used to them because they are very, very useful.